Today we're going over my thoughts of the Radian Ramjet and Afterburner combination after six months of use. I've had this compensator on my concealed carry gun and a handgun that I train with quite often, so I had a lot of time and rounds through this since the review video. So if you are interested in a review, you guys can click this video here. You can watch that now and come back to this, or you can watch it after you're done with this video, or you can just not watch it at all if, you're, if you won't want to. But this is not a review video. This is a video going over the updates of what I think, if it's something I recommend, and some of the problems people were a little bit worried about, like where and if we had any problems with the screw loosening. So we'll go over all of those real quick in this video. This is not going to be a super long video. So first, let's go over the problems that people were a little bit worried about. One of them being where on your slide and where this uh, kind of curves around. It has a really aesthetically pleasing look. It looks really sharp on your gun because of the way Radian designed it. Uh, but I know some people were a little bit worried with a lot of use. Is that going to wear your slide down? And I have had zero issues with that. And I put a lot of rounds through this uh, since filming that video and since I've had it. So uh, I don't see any problem with that uh, which I'm really happy about because I was afraid that you would maybe get some but honestly really haven't gotten anything at all so I'll show you guys a really close up of everything but uh, it has worn really well or lack thereof of, of wearing uh, with this the next thing is uh, the screw here that actually holds this to the barrel and allows you to have the compensator and uh, kind of really the whole really cool design of this that makes this legal on all those states that don't allow compensators because it doesn't have a threaded barrel and it's it's really unique barrel shape and design uh, is because of this screw and a lot of people were worried okay is this something that's going to slowly over time after a lot of rounds start to loosen and then you're going to have problems with this rotating and coming off and that would create a catastrophic malfunction and uh, I can say with with uh, confidence that I've not had any issues with this loosening. I've never touched this bolt. I've never had to tighten it and uh, it's been great so far. So I will keep you guys updated over the more thousands of rounds that I put through this if it ever changes. But at the time of filming this video, I've not had a single malfunction or issue with uh, that coming done. And we're kind of going off uh, the malfunction thing, I've had zero malfunctions with this gun, which is cool because with compensators, they can be really finicky. And that's really my biggest problem with compensators, why I don't run them on handguns, is because sometimes they can be super, super iffy on different ammos and things that you run. But this one has shot every ammo that I've had uh, with, with no problems at all. Some of that probably has to do with the fact that I have a uh, Radian's compressor guide rod in there and it's adjustable so you can adjust it and fine tune it to what you want. But uh, even pre that, I did not have any problems with this compensator. So. Uh, the actual function and use of it. Uh, let me give you a quick update on that. So I took a class with this and I shot, I think, 450 rounds through it in that class. Uh, and we were doing uh, some cadence drills and some like five round strings where we would uh, buzzer go and then you would shoot five rounds as quick as you can in a small circle. And I was uh, very impressed, very, very happy. And I shot the best I think I've ever shot uh, with this gun. And I, I really honestly contributed that to uh, the compensator because I was able to keep it down and on target a lot quicker. I don't think that you can't not get good groups without this. I was just able to do it quicker, I think is, is really what I noticed while shooting. And when it comes to a compensator and videos and filming and reviews, it's so hard for me to say, okay, yeah, look at that. There's such a, a reduction. Um, but all you can really do is try one of these or just take my word on it. I do have a slow motion video of uh, the Glock 45 uh, and I, my, my 17 side by side and, and seeing the barrel rise and, and what the difference is. So I tried to do it as scientifically as possible. I did a blindfold test and everything for you guys. Uh, but it's really hard to say unless you actually shoot this. But it is... Uh, a nice difference. It's a significant enough difference that I think it's worth buying. Um, because some of the compensators you buy it and you're like, I don't know, like, did I actually gain anything? Or like, I gained something, but was it worth the cost and the problems that, that potentially arise in the extra length? But with this, after shooting and training with it, I can safely say that it is worth the cost and you gain enough uh, noticeable difference. Uh, when adding this onto your gun. So uh, I was very impressed with it with that class, very happy with my group and how I was shooting. And I definitely still recommend this. So if this is something you wanna add to your guns, uh, I definitely think that's a good idea. I know they're gonna be expanding this to, I think Glock 17s, I think are next. So they're gonna be expanding, uh, making more, making different models and generations. So uh, the only downfall that I continue to see, actually there's two of them, uh, one of them being the price, they're $390 for the barrel and the compensator. So it is expensive. Uh, you are getting the combination of the barrel and the compensator and you can't buy them separately because they have to go together with the way they're designed. Um, and the other downfall is it's just so hard to find in stock, um, which kind of stinks. But if you're looking for them and you want to find them in stock, check Brownells, and you can also use code TA10 to save 10% on your order, which saves a decent amount of money. So uh, you can use that 
uh, code. You can also use it on anything else on Ronald's website as well and save you guys 10% on orders, $150 or more. But uh, those are really the only two downfalls that I've found with the system. Doesn't add a ton of length. Uh, you still fit all your normal holsters, so you don't have to buy specific holsters. I've never had any problems with any of the holsters that I currently use for Glock 17s. And uh, I personally really like it. I, I um, have stuck with this gun as my concealed carry gun. I usually uh, it's tend to find more better. I always find a different gun. I'm like, okay, I like this one better, but this one has been my concealed carry gun for a while now, and I've stuck with it, and I really like it, and I'm, I'm happy with the, the simplicity of it. It's not too over the top, but it does everything I need it to. But uh, definitely recommend it. Definitely uh, think it's it's still working really well. The worries that some of the people mentioned in my comments or the review uh, have not arise. So if anything changes, I will keep you guys updated. Other than that, I hope this video was able to help you uh, see the updates and, and where we're at with this after uh, six months of use. If you guys are interested in helping me in the channel and things I do here, there's a couple ways to do that down in the description. There is a link to my website and there are some discount codes from companies that I personally trust that you can use to save some money. And then a couple companies that support me in the things I do here are Howitzer and Brownells. Howitzer donates 5% of proceeds to charity and uh, the cloud collaborated with me with these t-shirts and that's awesome. You guys can uh, pick one up for yourself and the link is in the description as well from Howitzer and then uh, Brownells, like I said, code TA10 saves you 10% on orders, $150 or more and I absolutely love these guys. I can't do anything uh, without them. They're actually the ones that sent me the Radiant Ramjet and Afterburner, which is super cool of them uh, and I was able to get one pretty early because they were just so hard to find. So super, super big thank you to them. Other than that guys, thank you so much and I appreciate you all.